I'm Debbie Birch. I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and I'm here today in QAC TV studio with John Walton, the director of Queen Anne's County Free Library. Um, and he's here to tell us about a lot of stuff that they have coming up, a lot of stuff they have going on, you name it, and he's got it. John, Thank tell you, us Debbie. about the library. Uh, well, we've got uh, next week, we have an exciting week at the library. It is National Library Week, uh, April 14th to April 19th. So this is everywhere. This is everywhere <laughs> at our two branches, um, and we're going to have raffles uh, in the building. Ooh. If you come in and visit the library, you can win a prize. You get a raffle ticket. We're going to raffle oh, off wow. some okay. great prizes uh, each day. We're also doing some online raffles uh, to get people to like our Facebook page. Uh, we have a new Pinterest page. Um, if you do some stuff online, there's another separate awesome. raffle that you can do online as well. But the big, the big surprise for National Library Week, and we're very excited about this, <laughs> is it's, <Drum> roll. <laughs> it's fine madness. And we are basically, anybody that comes into the library uh, from the 14th to the 19th, we will forgive oh. any fines that are on your account or any lost items. So we're giving everybody a second chance to... Wow to come in and use the library. So, um, Do you hear that? Everybody hear that. Yes. Come into the library, anything that you have that's overdue, bring it in. <laughs> right. You don't even have to bring it in. You bring can, it in. You can just come in. in and say, I want fine <laughs> forgiveness or fine madness, and we're going we're gonna to wipe your account back nice. to zero, and we're not going to ask any questions. We're just going to say welcome back. Um, and give people an opportunity. Uh, and this is during all of National Library all Week? All of National Library And what Week. were the dates on that again? Uh, it's April 14th to 19th. Okay. So I hope everybody took note of that. Well, along with that, I know you guys aren't just, uh, you, you just don't have books there. I think everybody thinks the library and they think, oh, I can go and get a book. But you have a lot of other um, programs that you offer, a lot of other things there like computers and DVDs. So tell us about that stuff. Yeah, I think that that's one of the biggest misconceptions that people have is they probably remember the library of their childhood possibly mm -hmm. and that, you know, libraries were pretty much books back then. Right. Um, libraries have been for years, uh, have had DVDs or videos. Uh, so we have a large selection of those now, and we have public access computers. Um, so you can come in if you don't have internet access at home and you need to go uh, even today, you need to go online to apply for a job. So if you don't have a computer at home and you need right. to look for a job, they're going to tell you to go online. So the library is that place. We have computers you can come in with your library card, sit down, log in. Uh, the staff's there to help you if you have problems or questions. Um, we do one-on-one -on -one sessions um, with people on computers. Okay. We've been offering uh, classes now on Windows 8. Uh, how to use iPads, um, email. So, I mean, if you really don't know anything about right. a computer and you want to know, come see us and I can guarantee we'll, and we'll teach you. What's the charge to use your computers? Well, isn't that the key word? It's free. It's free. So, yes. nothing to use nothing. the computers the only there. Thing, the only fee you might have to incur is if you need to print something. We okay. do charge for the paper and the ink to print. But other than that, uh, you can come in so every day. So, free and, computer usage. You mm -hmm. can't get better than that. And I think we're up to three hours a day that you can log in. And, wow. And, and that's at both branches, the one in Centerville and the one in Stevensville. Do your libraries offer Wi-Fi? Uh, another great service. Thank you for mentioning that. Uh, yes, we do have <laughs> Wi-Fi uh, in the buildings. Again, that's free. You can okay. bring in your own device, whether uh, it's a laptop or an iPad or some kind of tablet, and you can just cook into the library's Wi-Fi network. And again, that's free, and you can sit in there all okay. day if you'd like. And sometimes we see people in the parking lot, so the signal sometimes extends outside well, I was the wondering if you offered coffee and donuts to go with that Wi-Fi, uh, but then you'll have people there all day. Yeah. <laughs> So, okay, let's move on to something else. The DVDs. I don't think people realize that you all offer DVDs. Yeah, and I think that's a, a great service that we offer because, as far as I know, there are no more uh, video stores around in the county anymore. So it's it's Redbox yeah. or the library. So I'm hoping people will come to the library because Redbox, right. you've got to use your credit card. The library... There's no fee. Uh, you can have Wait a minute. What did you just say? I said no fee. Whoa, that's, I thought that's what yeah. I heard. <laughs> um, and we have a wide selection. We carry popular movies. We have a lot of stuff for kids. We carry a lot of TV series. So if there's a, a TV series, you, you know, that you want to do the, what they wow. call binge watching now. Uh -huh. you, wanna, you know, you haven't seen uh, Mad Men or um, Breaking Bad or some of these okay. other series. We've got them all. You can come in and you can do some binge watching at home for and free. Can you reserve these online? Can you, how does Yes, how we does have it work? we have a great online system. Um, you can reserve most of the movies. The only ones we don't allow right now to be reserved are what we call our, um, our um, two-day loans. Okay. Those are the really popular um, 
you know, theatrical right. releases that just came out. But if it's a series or an older title, um, they, those can be reserved. So, yeah, you can put your name down, and, and so you can go on a waiting list, and we'll contact you as soon okay. as it comes through. So, so it's not just books, and you're never too young or too old to get a library card. Um, so come in, and if you, you know, if it's computers, the staff there, it, they can help you out if you're not sure what you're doing, that type of thing. So along with uh, the things that you all offer, you also have programs and activities going on there. And I was just really surprised at how many, the variety of classes, workshops, speakers coming in that you have. Tell us a little bit about those. Yeah, that's something we've been really um, working on this um, this past year is to try to, it, because programming helps bring people into the building and mm -hmm. then they notice what other stuff we have. So right. I'm talking about the books, the DVDs, the computers. If you come to a program, you come in and you see that we have those things. Uh, so we offer a lot of children's programs. That's that's a big thing, but we've also been doing a lot in the adult arena as well. So for children's programs, um, we do a story time um, okay. at both branches. Um, there might be a, a, a gap, but right now they're running this month. We have a story time for, uh, I think it's two to five-year-olds. Okay. Um, we also have a Mother Goose on the Loose program. Um, that is, I think, for uh, three months to 36 months. Wow, that's, that's young. That's held at both branches. Um, one of the fun programs we do is we have the Read to Rover program at our Ken Island branch, and that's where the kids can come in um, that maybe have trouble reading or whatever, and we have uh, dogs that come in and the kids can they read. They actually bring the dogs they bring into the, the, uh, the library. The dog comes in and the, really? kid, the kid reads to the dog, so it's a more relaxed environment. Um, and that's been very popular, and we, we post on our Facebook all the time kids that, that have finished that oh, program. Oh, that's, that's a really... So, that's a unique approach to that yep. and a really good idea. What is the the 500 by 5? Yes. I'm curious what um, that is. I know you've got the slide up now of, <laughs> of our young friend Danny, who we couldn't have been happier with our first uh, w first person to finish the 500 by 5. Uh, this is all about early literacy for kids. Um, and so Danny was the first kid that read 500 books by the age of 5. Um, and it can be books that were read to him by his parents. Mm -hmm. um, but the idea is ho the whole, um, you know, getting... Uh, uh, school readiness for kids right. and promoting that in the library so we're trying to get kids it was a program that was started in Calvert County Library uh, and we adopted it this past year so we're trying to get the word out to parents you know you, it, it doesn't cost anything to sign up right you just track the books and when your kid reaches 500 come on in and you know we'll do you take have a, a form that they use for tracking or yep we do we okay. have a form um, and we're trying to actually think about a way to do it maybe online to make it easier oh, okay. um, for people to do that but it's a great great program for Getting those, getting your son or daughter to read. And early you mentioned on. online, so I'm going to have to jump right in there. You have a new website. Yes, that's another thing that we're very excited about <laughs> during National Library Week. Um, we're we're finally launching our new web page. Um, we th hopefully, I think people are going to like it. Uh, we've laid it out very nicely. It's uh, I think a very clean looking page, and the information hopefully it's easy to find is very easy there. to find. We yep. you know we want one click for you to be able to find pretty much so. Library hours are listed on there. Programs are listed on the front page. Um, we have a how do I section, so how do I get a library card? Oh, okay. How do I new, renew materials? Um, how do I borrow from another library? That information's right there on that main page. You can page. borrow from another library? Oh, yes. <laughs> You're asking that. all the good questions today. <laughs> yes, we have uh, Marina, which is our interlibrary loan system. So we can, um, you get linked to a catalog that has the holdings of all the li public libraries in Maryland. Oh, okay. Um, and so if we don't own it, um, we can borrow it from another library for you. So and they'll send another, it right and here they send it. Yep, and then when it comes in, we either call you or email you and say uh, the book has come in. So interlibrary loan is another free service. Costs you nothing. Okay. And we can borrow from any library in the state. Um, we were talking a little bit about the kids programs. What about for the teens or adults? What type of things do you have for them? Uh, for the teens, we've been trying to do more programming. Um, I know there's a writer's group on uh, Ken Island okay. branch that they're trying to do a writer's group. Um, and I, my uh, youth services librarian in Centerville has started a teen advisory board to try oh. to figure out um, to get the teens to come in and talk right. to us about what they would like to see. Uh, as far as programming goes in the library because, I mean, that's the audience we're trying to reach, so right. we're trying to get them to come in. So um, that's a program that she's been running, so we're hoping to do um, more work with that. And you have, um, I know there's a food and farming discussion coming up, I believe it is. Um, I can't remember which library it's in. Um, I thought I saw that for you all. Actually, we just had that. Did you just yes, have that? We, okay. we, we ran a program. Um, as part of uh, a, a regional initiative, uh, they brought an, uh, an author out, uh, Joel Salatin, who uh, okay. writes about 
family farming um, and local farming, and we held a, a course at the library in Centerville called Menu for the Future. Oh, it was a discussion okay. course that ran for six weeks to talk about where your food comes from and, um, and your food supply. And so we had a group of people do that, and so we're hoping to maybe run that program again because it's a booklet and it's a very easy thing for us to run. So. Okay. So basically what we've learned today is that the library, just as in books, you know, you need to come out and see everything that it has to offer. And we're lucky in Queen Anne's County, we have two library locations. We have Centerville, um, which is 121 South Commerce Street, and the phone number there is 410-758-0980. Yep. And then we have the Ken Allen branch, which is 200 Library Circle. It's across from Ram's Head down on Ken Island in Stevensville, and their phone number is 410-643-8161. Now, what is your website address, and what's your Facebook um, under? Uh, Facebook is just under Queen Anne's County Library. Okay. And our new webpage is, we've simplified it, it's just www.qaclibrary.org. None of the whole Maryland dot no, state we, we and we simplified that. it to make it easier <laughs> to find. Uh, and I also want to just make a, a quick note that um, during Library Week, we're also having a signing ceremony for the Declaration for the Right for Libraries. Um, this is something that the president of the American Library Association has asked all public libraries to okay. do at some point this year. So we're having a ceremony in Centerville uh, on April 14th from 5 to 6 p.m. and then one on Kent Island on April 16th from 3 to 4 p.m. Basically, we're just going to have, we have this Library Bill of Rights that talks about the 10 reasons why libraries are important to their communities. Okay. Um, and then we're going to have a big uh, board there, and we're going to have people come in and, and, and sign so the So anybody can sign? Anybody can sign, and we're going to send it to ALA, and it's part of their initiative to, uh, for federal funding. So um, come out and Congress. sign so that yep. they can see and, that. And I'll let you know a little secret. If you come out, um, my staff is baking for both events, and I have great bakers on staff. And so, I, I can vouch for that. So there'll be that. cookies and, and, and great <laughs> things to eat. So if nothing else, come out and have a snack with us. The, and, um, I, I actually, I'll comment on that. The uh, Stevensville Library participated. They're part of the historic Stevensville Arts and Entertainment District. Yes. And this past December, they participated in the cookie walk. And I believe they came in second or third place. And they made cookies and people could come in and pay to taste the cookies. And we had a contest down there. Yes, and I the cookies that. were excellent. So I, they, yes. yeah, they do I have, have real, I have there. really good bakers <laughs> on staff. So if nothing else, and the signing ceremony, it's, it's listed for an hour. I mean, if you only have 10 minutes and can stop in. And, the, and then the document will be in the library all during library week for all people right. to come in and sign. So if you can't make the signing ceremony, that's that's fine. But um, we'd like people to come in and su and show support for their for their library during library week. Excellent. So, Give us your website one more time. Uh, <laughs> www.qaclibrary.org. Thanks, John. Thanks for coming in, and hopefully we'll have you back again later on when the weather gets really nice, talking about some other upcoming events. Okay. Thank you, Debbie.